In this video we're going to be finding the median and the quartiles of a continuous random variable. You can do this in a number of ways but the most conventional way and the most efficient way is to turn a probability density function into a cumulative distribution function. And we're going to do an example just like that. We're going to find the median and then the quartiles of that continuous random variable. So here's the question we're going to deal with. Um, as always, I like to sketch the PDF before beginning, even if it doesn't ask us to. It's just very good practice to do this. So drawing in my axes. And we can see that it's a function that is x between naught and 1. So when x is naught, the height of the graph is also naught. When x is 1, the height of the graph is also going to be 1. So you've got a straight line like that with a height of 1. Now the next bit looks like a quadratic and it's between 1 and 2. And if we substitute 1 into this, it's going to have a height of 3 fourteenths. So it's going to be a little bit lower. So 3 over 14 is the height there. And if we substitute 2 into this, we're going to get 12 over 14 so it's an increasing function between 1 and 2 and it's going to look something like that. So it's going to complete the PDF by drawing in the dots down and then the kind of plateaus either side to show that it's zero otherwise. Okay now what we need to do is to turn this into a CDF. So really important to get it into CDF form. You can do it as a PDF, but it's easier if you do it when it's a, when it's a CDF. It's more efficient. So I'm going to start by finding the formula for, or the, the cumulative distribution function for this part, which I've just labeled A. Um, so for this part, we need to integrate our function, which relates to this part. So that one there, x and we're going to integrate that between the lower limit which is 0 up to any point x. So we're going to integrate x between 0 and x which is going to give us x squared over 2 between 0 and x and if we substitute in our two limits x will just stay the same as x and we're going to be taking away nothing. So our function is x squared over 2. If we now do for part B to find the function for this one we need to integrate our second function um, between our lowest limit 1 and any point after that which could be x so we're integrating 3x squared over 14 but we must remember also to add on the area of the previous part so the entire area of that bit which you can find by substituting in the top limit into our function that we found. So I'm going to add on 1 squared over 2. So when we integrate this we're going to get x cubed over 14 and that's between 1 and x and we're adding 1 squared is 1 over 2. Now if we substitute in our two limits, we're going to get x cubed over 14 minus 1 cubed is 1 over 14 plus a half. And then if we simplify this, we're going to get x cubed plus 6 over 14. Now I'm just going to check if that's correct. If I substitute in my top value, then it should tell me that the area from the bottom up to this value here, 2, is 1. So hopefully that's correct. So if I substitute 2 into this, I'm going to get 2 cubed plus 6 over 14. 2 cubed is 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 over 14 is 1. So we know that we've done it correctly. Okay, now, now that we've got our function, which I'm going to, going to write out. So it's fx and it's 0 when x is less than 0, our lowest limit. It's x squared over 2 when x is between 0 and 1. And it's x cubed plus 6 
over 14 when x is between 1 and 2. And finally, it's 1 when x is greater than 2. So using this, I'm going to now put this over here. I'm going to find the median firstly. So the median. And then after that, we'll look at the quartiles. So for the median, we know that f of the median equals 0.5. So what that means is that all the values up to the median equals 0.5. So it means it's just halfway through the, the probability density function. So using our cumulative distribution function, we're going to substitute m into our function. Now, this one actually lies right on the border of the two functions, so we can substitute it into either of the two functions, but that's not normally the case. So if I substitute into the first function, so we're going to have m squared over 2 equals 0.5, m squared equals 1, m is 1, so we know the median is 1, so at 1, that's where the median that's where the median lies. And we can also show that on the in the other function, in the second function. So if I say that f of the median is 0.5 and I use it in the second function, 1 is in both of these functions, so um, it's going to work for either of them. So we're going to have m cubed plus 6 over 14 equals 0.5. So m cubed plus 6 equals 7. And then m cubed equals 7 minus 6, which is 1. So the median again is 1. So it's just a case of making your function equal to the value that we want. So when we're finding the quartiles, we're going to be for Q1, the lower quartile, we're going to say that f of Q1 equals 0.25. Now with this, we've got to be careful because we know that 0.25, so 0.25 of the area, lies in this part of the function. So we need to use this function here because this is the one that captures 0.25. So let's substitute that in. So I'm going to say that q squared over 2, I'm just substituting q into this, equals 0.25. So q squared equals 0.5. q equals the root of 0.5, which is 0.707 to three decimal places. So q1 is going to be around here. And now looking at the upper quartile, so we're looking at Q3, I'm going to say that f of Q3 equals 0.75. So we've got to decide which of the two functions the 0.75 of the information of the area is up to. Now we know that halfway, this is half 50%, 0.5, so the 0.75 is going to lie in this function, the second one, so we're going to be substituting into this function here. So, let's say instead of Q3, I'm going to write R, and I'm substituting it into this function here, so I'm going to get R cubed plus 6 over 14 equals 0.75. So, rearranging this so that I can find R. I'm going to get r cubed plus 6 equals 10.5, r cubed equals 4.5, so r is the cube root of 4.5, which is 1.651, again to three decimal places. So q3 is going to be approximately there.